Good morning, John Partridge here with Keller Williams in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about home buying tips. Got five tips for you when you're considering buying a home in the next year. Uh, let's start with the most important one, which is getting pre-approved for a loan. Going to your bank, your credit union, or your mortgage broker, and find out what you're qualified for. And you'll for. know exactly what you can afford, and that sets your parameters. Also finding out what you'll need at closing. Um, other than your loan, what kind of cash you may need when you go to the closing table to uh, finalize the deal. Uh, speaking of cash, let's talk about uh, sources of cash that we may not have thought of previously. Keep something in mind that might be helpful. You don't know if you're three months, six months, or a year away from finding the right house. So as you go from here, try to save very hard. Try to get disciplined and purposeful about saving for your home. Uh, maybe put a photo of the dream home that you get out of a magazine, something that looks like it may suit you perfectly and would be the home that you could uh, live for the rest of your life in. And then maybe have a jar where you put the money you would have spent on a latte or going out to dinner or pizza that one night. And put it in the jar. Uh, it might be fun for the kids as well if there's kids involved in this. Um, another source of cash that is not always considered um, is a tax refund. If you get a payroll check and you know what to expect from your tax refund, then May or June may be a good strategic time for you to uh, shop for a home. And in light of that, you may even uh, consider uh, changing your payroll deductions, hiding that money from yourself. You know, you take a hit every two weeks of 50 or 100 bucks, but at the end of the year, you have a significant increase in your tax refund and you're purposeful about using that for a home purchase, which is a great, a great way to do that. Uh, another way, another source of cash that people often overlook is borrowing the money from your retirement account, your IRA, uh, your 401k, uh, other savings plans that you may have through your place of work. And of course you should talk to your professional accountant and get advice on this, but you're saving that money for retirement. You're, um, you're making it work for you. And another way that that money can work for you is being in a home. Number three, uh, develop a plan to shop for a home that is strategic and stick to it sounds simple, but here's what I mean. Uh, once you have four or five must-haves, um, you've got to have four bedrooms, you've got to have a kitchen that opens up into the family room, you've got to have a garden the size of the basketball court uh, because the last house didn't provide that, um, and you've got to be 15 minutes from Costco. So having a plan and being ready to enact that plan is, uh, is a great way to get through this process and not having the regrets years from now that you may otherwise have. Uh, number four, don't overanalyze the process. Don't get so caught up in the minutia that you lose sight of the goal. Remember, you've taken the time to go through this process and prioritize your needs, and so you have professionals working number five, for you. Hire a qualified professional real estate agent. Somebody who you know has had their head in the game, that knows homes in the area, that's, that have been tracking the market, tracking uh, city development, uh, school systems, neighborhoods, um, home builders, anything that's related to you making this purchase, which may be the largest purchase you'll ever make. Home in buying your life. tips from John Partridge. Thank you for listening. Make it a great day.